What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about why a 4 weight is superior in most cases than a 5 weight whenever you're talking about fly fishing for trout. Okay, so before I catch a lot of flack, uh, this is all subjective. I'm going to present to you some of my uh, arguments as to why I, I personally fish a 4 weight more often than a 5 weight. It doesn't mean that it's absolutely the best, so I guess, you know, one could argue that this video baited you in, but it's, hear me out. I want to talk to you about why I think uh, 4 weight catches a little more flack than it should, than, uh, and why you should point new anglers automatically to a nine foot five weight. So before we get started also, I want to indicate that I'm not referring to any specific techniques. I'm not talking about a uh, streamer only angler. I'm not talking about a Euro nymphing angler. I'm specifically talking about a good all around rod for small stream applications and medium stream applications. Uh, that out of the way, um, also please check out the merch. There's Fly Life Apparel uh, down below as well as the side there. Really helps the channel, especially uh, considering that the uh, Designs are always constantly updated, new stuff all the time, new products. Pick yourself up a hat as well, link in the description. Um, but hopefully you find some information that's useful for you during this video, so let's get started. First off, a 4 weight compared with the same exact rod and a 5 weight is going to be typically minuscule difference, but lighter. Uh, I like, when I'm fishing all day, something extremely light, and also what usually that means is that the blank is lighter, uh, I can get away with a lighter reel, and I can fish longer uh, with less fatigue, albeit minor difference. It does make a difference when you're fishing 10 hours that day, especially if you're going to be nymphing part of that day, you want to hold your rod a little higher on small stream applications. Makes a difference. Second thing, generally, when you're talking about 9 foot versus 9 foot rods, a 4 weight is going to have a more delicate touch, even albeit so slightly. Typically, it's going to be a better blank for tossing dry flies, uh, as well as uh, when you're fishing on small streams specifically, it's going to be able to load a rod a little bit faster, and that allows you to, sh to cast shorter, uh, especially you know whenever, for example, in most rod companies that I've tested, the four weight has a better, uh, deeper bend, so it's going to be a slower action or a medium action compared to many five weight especially in expensive rods, five weight applications, where it's going to be a, a slightly faster and stiffer blank. Not always the best case for an all around general purpose rod or for a new angler. So uh, what I like when I'm trying to get new people into the sport is, is a nice medium or soft four weight, like this uh, this uh, Cook and Warsham uh, Maverick. Um, it loads dry flies well, it's very light, it, it dampens and responds quickly, I can nymph well with it, it's a very, very, very light rod, um, and so I'll steer people towards that more than a stiffer blank 5 weight um, whenever they're new to the sport or they want a general purpose rod. Another really nice thing about 4 weights to, against 5 weights is, is typically, whenever you're fishing a 4 weight, you can often cast lighter and more delicate presentations than with a 5 weight. Not always the case, it comes down to the angler, I understand that, but when that water, when that fly hits the water, you often have a better touch and, and, and feel than with a 5 weight. Not always the case, I know it's different from brand to brand, from rod uh, series to rod series, but this is just general observations from testing out rods from the same company, in the same series, in the same blank, the 4 weight typically lets you cast and, and bend deeper into the rod, and with that softer feel, comes tippet protection. So if you're fishing small stream or medium stream, or even, I mean, a bigger stream, depending on if you're drift boat or not, if I'm fishing 5 to 7x tippet on a really spooky clear stream, I want something that whenever I set the hook or a fish wants to take on me, 
a deeper, softer rod, deeper bend, softer rod, is going to protect tippet. That's why whenever I euro nymph, I prefer a two weight over a three weight, especially over a four weight, is you're not missing out on, on fighting big fish that often. I mean, you'd be surprised how much pressure a two weight can put on versus a three or a four versus a five. And to be honest with you, when you're fishing a big fish or you're fighting a big fish, you want a little bit more protection rather than super strong backbone. Four weight has definitely enough backbone for a 20 to 25 inch fish. I wouldn't fight a king on a four weight. I wouldn't fight a, a, a steelhead on a four weight. But to be honest with you, it protects your lighter tippets a lot better than a super stiff five weight while providing a couple other benefits as well, like I was mentioning before. Really quickly, please, please, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and at the end of the video, after you're done, please check out the merch below or in the description, pick yourself up a hat, or check out the Teespring merch off to the side here, uh, because it really does help the channel. So, going back to why I like to fish these different rods is, somebody like me, who has to land the majority of the fish I hook and catch because of either guiding or because of filming. Whenever you're filming a series, uh, you don't always get you know, the exhilaration uh, caught on camera, but what you can get is a fish release. So because I have to land so many fish, I often fish soft rods. And that is because I cannot afford to break off fish like some other people uh, and, and enjoy it. You know, Castability, I might lose a little bit of distance from a 4 or 5 weight or from a softer blank like this to a faster, firmer blank. But for me, it makes more sense to, to land the fish I hook and feel the fish that take than to have a good time punching streamers. If I'm going to fish a streamer, I'm probably going to go not to a 5 weight, but to a 6 weight. Uh, but when I'm fishing any small stream for nymphs, dry flies, or I want a general all purpose rod, I go for a 4 weight like this and I can't go wrong. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the other videos in the playlist. Again, the merch, please, please. Until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines, and we're out.